Hello there guys, what's going on? Today we're gonna be show you how to speed up your Windows 10 performance. We have done videos on similar topic before, it's still valuable but Windows 10 is ever evolving so we have to bring you another one. By doing this you can expect an increase in your Windows 10 system performance, better responsiveness, a lot more free space on your storage, a better boot time and a much better overall system stability. And we are not using any third party programs to achieve this, all you have to need is your Windows 10 computer and some patience to follow these steps. So stay tuned, let's get started. Step number 1. Power Option Power Option will let you adjust your power plan on Windows 10. Basically every power plan is set to balance by default, so we are gonna go ahead and change it to a better power plan which favors performance above all. So go to your search box on taskbar and search, choose a power plan. As I told you, you can see it's set to balance power plan by default, but we are going to change it to the high performance power plan which you might not see here yet. Anyway, before choosing any of those, let me give you a short brief on this power plan. There are three power plans available on Windows 10. Power save power plan which saves energy by reducing your computer's performance. Then there is the default one, balanced power plan which automatically balances performance with energy. Then there is the high performance power plan which favors performance above all. So we are going to enable that. If you don't find the high performance power plan up here, just click on the show additional plans tab and you'll find it. Now just choose it to enable it. If you don't find it here, then you have to create the high performance power plan by yourself, which also you can do easily. Just click on the create a power plan hyperlink, now choose high performance and name it high performance as well. Click next and there you go. Now we'll show up here, so choose it to enable it. If you want, you can tweak your power plan furthermore by going to the change plan settings option on the particular power plan. Step number two, clean up C drive. If you don't know C drive, where you usually install your Windows 10 OS is very sensitive towards being out of space. If your C drive gets full or kind of full, you will experience serious lag or unresponsiveness on your Windows 10 system. It is very true, if you don't believe me, feel free to check it from the official source. So in this step, we are going to show you how to clean up your C drive to boost your system performance on Windows 10. First of all, let's go to File Explorer, now right click on your C drive or system drive and choose Properties. Now under the general section you'll find the disk cleanup, click on it, now we'll scan the drive and once you're here click on the cleanup system files, which will run a deep scan and show you the unwanted files you can delete under these categories. I don't mind choosing all of them because there is nothing important, for example the old updates or the files from the previous windows build, but if you found anything which you wish to keep just uncheck them. Anyway once you selected them click on ok and you'll be asked for confirmation, so click delete files option and there you go. You have just freed a huge sum of your system drive space and it will definitely boost your system performance. To clean furthermore, you can consider cleaning up your recycle bin as well because recycle bin is also using a C drive storage to keep the file you have deleted without pressing shift delete. In other words, the files you haven't permanently deleted. And the default space allocated to the recycle bin is about 100 GB. So think if you forget to clean your recycle bin for a long time all the things you are temporarily deleting will be end up on your C drive. So go ahead and clean your recycle bin, also I recommend you to do that more often. Step number 3. Disable unwanted startup programs. Most programs that you have installed on your Windows 10 are designed to run when your system starts up, even if you don't use them regularly. And they will stay running in the background forever until you shut down your PC. And the fact is that a huge number of programs which are behaving this way will cost your computer a lot of its valuable resources and it will cause you a very laggy and unresponsiveness Windows experience as well as the slowest boot times possible. Don't worry, you can do something about this. Head over to your taskbar and right click on an empty space, which will bring you to this menu. Now click on Task Manager, on Task Manager go to Startup tab and here you can find all the apps which are start up when your system boots and stay running in the background forever. So let's go ahead and disable all the rarely using programs or the programs which you don't need to be start up when your system boots. Just select a program, click on disable, continue this until you disable all the unwanted. Once you did that, just restart your PC and let me bet you, you'll feel the freshness of your windows once again. Step number 4. Defragment and optimize drives. In this step, we're gonna show you how to optimize your drives or local disks on your Windows 10 for better performance. Actually, the benefits of optimizing your drives are incredible. By doing this, your programs can run much faster and more efficiently because the data will be grouped together for easier access as well as it can extend your hard drive's lives, gives you more efficient security and will reduce errors overall. 
And if you are using an SSD or solid state drive, I recommend you to skip this step entirely because with SSDs, however, it is recommended that you should not defragment the drive as it can cause unnecessary wear and tear which will reduce its lifespan. Anyway, let's get started. Go to your search box and search defragment and optimize drives. Click on it and you will get in the Microsoft Drive Optimizer Utility. Now select C drive and click on optimize. As you can see, my C drive is unfortunately an SSD. Don't worry, we'll be fine. I'm only gonna do it for the sake of the video. As I told you, if yours is a solid state drive, skip the step. Now select each and every drive one after another and do the same for all of them. Once you're done, click close and that's it. Step number five, ready boost. This step is especially helpful if you're running low on your RAM. Ready Boost enable non-memory mass storage devices including compact flash, SD card and USB flash drive to be used as a cache between hard drive and random access memory in an effort to increase your computing performance. For this we are using a high speed USB flash drive. You can use anything beyond a USB 3.0 speed which has at least a capacity of 256 MP. So if there is a free flash drive laying around you can use 4, 8, 16 GB and beyond for this. And make sure you have backed up the drive if there is anything important before doing this. For me, I have already plenty of RAM so I highly doubted that it won't allow me to do this. Anyway, I will walk you through. Insert the USB drive into your USB port on your PC. Now go to File Explorer and right click on the flash drive. Click on Format and change the file system to NTFS. Now click Start and it will format your flash drive to NTFS file system. Now close this and right click on the flash drive again and this time select properties and I will show you an option called use this device so click on it now will act as an additional emulated RAM on your Windows 10 unfortunately it doesn't allow me to do this because I have already plenty of RAM installed on this computer to be precise 32 GB but if you are running low on your RAM it will definitely show you the use this device button and by following the instructions you can easily succeed step number six Windows update it might sound silly to you, but an outdated Windows 10 OS definitely drags your system behind. So to increase the performance and stability of your system, you must get the latest updates or the updated version of Windows. In case if you don't know, this is how it's get done. Head over to the search box and search check for update. Click on it and it will open the Windows update on Windows settings and show you if there are any update available. In my case, it's already been downloaded the updates. So for me, it's just a matter of clicking the install button. For you, you can start the scan for latest updates if it's not already started and install the updates when they are downloaded. You have to restart your PC in order to see the updates in its full effect. Step number 7. Delete unnecessary temporary files. Whenever you open a program, your Windows will create tons of temporary files. And as it's been named, these files are only for temporary use. The next time you open the same program, it didn't need that and it will create a new set of temporary files for its use. Unfortunately, on Windows, like any other OS, we are using it to use the programs. So, we'll be continued forever as long as you use. Don't think it's a bad thing, it's indeed a necessary thing, but the bad thing is keeping these files. Because we will lose our valuable storage, and guess what? The temporary files are also stored in C drive. So, cleaning it will give your C drive a lot more free space, is equal to naturally more performance. So, let me dive in and show you how to delete unnecessary temporary files on Windows 10. Head over to your taskbar and search run. Now click on it and it will open the run box. Now type in temp and click OK, which will open this folder. So simply select them all. Now hit shift plus delete keys on your keyboard. If there is anything undeletable, leave it there. It might be the temporary files of the program you are currently running. Now go to search box and type in run again. Open it and type in percentage temp percentage. Hit OK and delete these files as well. Now you are successfully cleaned up the junk. Step number 8. Page file. The paging file is an area on your hard disk that Windows uses like memory. There is an option in Windows 10 that manages the page file size automatically, which can help improve your Windows performance. So we are gonna go ahead and enable the settings if it's not enabled already. So go to search box and search advanced system. Now click on view advanced system settings which will bring you to the system properties. Now navigate to settings under performance section, go to advanced tab and click on change under the virtual memory section. Now go ahead and enable the automatically manage paging file size for all drives option. Once you did that, click OK which will prompt a warning which says the changes you have made require you to restart your computer before they can take effect. Now close the pop-up, click on apply, this will show you another pop-up asking you to restart your computer. Click restart now, but make sure you have saved all the important open files or programs before hitting it. 
or choose restart later if you are doing something important which you can't shop at the moment. But the effects will only take place once your system gets rebooted. Number 9. Uninstall unwanted apps or programs. Since the day we installed our Windows 10, we have installed tons of programs. I mean most of us do. But now it's time to look back and see if we needed all of them. Because such a huge library of unwanted apps or programs can affect your system performance. Because they are using your system resources, in other case the same system resources should be used by the programs in need. So in this step, we're gonna show you how to uninstall any unwanted apps or programs which you might not need anymore. And hopefully it will increase your Windows 10 performance. So let's get started. Go to the start menu, click on the settings gear icon. Now from the Windows settings, go to the apps and navigate to the apps and features menu. And you'll find each and every apps or programs installed on your Windows 10. Look through them and find every unwanted apps or programs. But do not uninstall the program you are not recognized that much. For example, it might be a driver. So make sure you're aware of what you're uninstalling. Uninstalling an app is pretty simple. Just click on the particular one, now click uninstall, now we'll see a warning pop up, click uninstall again, and you're done. If it's a program, after you click the uninstall button twice, you'll be greeted with the particular program's uninstall wizard. In that case, follow the on-screen instructions and uninstall it. Now you can go ahead and uninstall the rest of those programs which you have found. Step number 10. Auto Disk Cleaning. In this step, we're gonna show you how to set up an automatic disk cleaning on your Windows 10. For that, you can use a feature called Storage Sense, which is baked into every Windows 10 OS, which will let your Windows operating system automatically free up space by getting rid of unnecessary files, including files in your recycle bin when you're low on disk space or at intervals you specify. By enabling this, even if you forget to clean your Windows once in a while, it will clean up most of the unnecessary junks automatically which will naturally speed up your Windows 10 performance. To do that, go to your start menu, click on settings gear icon, which will bring you to the Windows settings. Now go to system settings and navigate to storage menu. Now go ahead and toggle the on off switch, which will enable the storage sense. If you want to run the storage sense immediately or to configure the task to run on a specific interval, which you choose, you can click on the configure storage sense or run it now hyperlink. Now set it as the way you want and it will do the job automatically. Step number 11. Reduce runtime service. The runtime services are the background tasks that Windows runs even when no user account is signed in. They are controlled by Windows operating system. Depending on the service, it may be automatically start up on boot time or only when necessary, which is an essential thing and they are using your system resources such as your RAM and CPU. But there are some unfunded runtime services as well which you don't have any reason to keep. These services also take up memory, waste CPU time and make your computer take longer to start. So in this step, we are going to disable all the unwanted or rarely useful runtime services, which will definitely improve your boot time and system performance. So let's get started. Go to your start menu and right click on Windows icon, which will bring you to this menu. Now click on run and type in msconfig. Click OK and you will get to the system configuration. Now navigate to the service tab and here you will find all the runtime services on your system. Before you do anything, enable this hide all Microsoft services option because we don't want to accidentally disable any of the Windows services which are necessary for the flawless operation of your Windows 10 system. Now look through them and uncheck the unwanted services. These services are may not be the same for us both, so you can kinda look their name and if you found it familiar to a program's name you're rarely using, uncheck them. And I recommend to do not disable anything from your CPU and GPU manufacturers, for example services from Intel, AMD or Nvidia. Once you uncheck the unwanted, click apply and OK. Now you have successfully disabled the unwanted runtime services. Step number 12. Post OneDrive Syncing Your Windows 10 is automatically syncing files with OneDrive by default for purposes such as backup or to access files remotely from any device. But these syncing activities can slow down your PC. So if you are not considered using it as a backup, you can pause OneDrive syncing temporarily and see if it helps improve your Windows 10 performance furthermore. To do that, go to the hidden icons on your taskbar and right click on OneDrive. Now click on pause syncing and choose a temporary period. If you feel a change in the performance, you can make it permanent by going to taskbar startup. Now disable the OneDrive from startup. The next time you reboot, there is no OneDrive anymore. Step number 13. Check for and remove virus and malware. We know computer virus is a threat to available files, but it also makes your Windows 10 painfully slow if your computer is infected. So in this step, we're gonna show you how to find and remove virus and malware from your Windows 10 using its own baked-in antivirus program, the Windows Security. So let's get started. 
go to your search box and search Windows Security. Now click on it and you will get here. Now go to Virus and Threat Protection, navigate to Scan option, choose Full Scan and click on Scan now. Now we'll scan your entire system and find and remove virus or malware threats if it found any. But Windows Security is not the end game. If you have a more serious threat, I have an entire video dedicated for that. Watch my video on how to remove any virus from Windows 10 for free. It is absolute in-depth on the subject and it will help you fix any kind of virus or malware threats related to Windows 10. You can find the video in the card section up above or in the video description down below. I recommend you to watch it after this. Step number 14, Adjust Visual Effects. Now this is the last and final thing we can do to increase your Windows 10 performance in terms of software tweaking. I'm not gonna force you to do this but it is a necessary sacrifice if you're dealing with a very limited machine in terms of hardware capabilities. As I told you, it will definitely increase your Windows 10 performance but it will affect your Windows 10 visual appearance. Try and if you don't like how it treats your Windows UI, you can always go back by doing the steps in reverse order. So let's get started. Go to your search box and search Advanced System. Now click on View Advanced System Settings which will bring you to the System Properties. Now navigate to Settings under the Performance section and you'll reach the Visual Effects tab. Now choose the option Adjust for Best Performance which will disable all these visual effects which you see on your Windows 10 user interface. I recommend you to take a look through them and if you found anything which you can't leave without, you can enable them individually. If you can sacrifice all of them, all you care about a smooth Windows experience on a limited hardware, disable them all and it will definitely squeeze that last bit of performance out of your Windows 10 system. So that's all for today. If you like what you just saw, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and enable the bell icon to receive notification whenever we upload a new one. If you found the video helpful, why not share it with your friends as well? This is me, your host, Amal Rafiq. Thank you so much for watching.